What is going on guys, NW Misha back here with a brand new video and today we're going to be putting in some brand new spacers in this SC300. It's my boy Brendan, this is his car and uh, I don't know, how she was. let's talk about the car first. Alright, so currently I'm running a pair of 5 axis wheels that have a positive 44 offset, it's 44 millimeters. Um, like, positive offset is confusing but uh, the lower the offset the further out the wheel is. And so 44 is pretty far in. So we're gonna take care of that by adding 25 millimeter spacers. So these are all gonna be one inch. So it just pushes my wheels out one inch further and we'll actually make them tow slightly. They'll stick out a little bit beyond the fender. So we'll have to get into rolling and everything after that. But today we're just putting these on. Um, the hub bore is 60.1 millimeters, which is the Lexus spec. Cause uh, with spacers, you gotta be safe. You gotta do the right, the right hub bore and the right diameters and everything. So yeah, these were 70 bucks on Amazon, one day prime, you know, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Don't worry about the microphone, it's going to be better soon. <laughs> first things first, we had to clean off all the rust on the hub, and um, that's just so the spacer can fit on pretty perfectly, um, so then that won't you know, mess up anything. But um, over the hub, you can see that little black piece, and you take that out, so then you can easily put your spacers on or else they won't fit so just be cautious if it's on your car not every car has it on after putting on the spacer this is the result of it Now for the final three tires, we did exactly the same thing, and then we got it all on, and this is how it looks like with everything on. Oh yeah, well, what do you think, when I had 10, how hard it was? Um, it was a three. Uh, it would have been a two, but we had to get those annoying little rubber things off to yeah, I don't eggs. know if we got that, but shoot, I don't have it. I threw all them away. There were these black little plastic rubber things around the hub that uh, I guess they were put there for like a wheel to have perfect hub centric. They thing. were somewhere in here. Yeah, but you want to get the perfect, you want to get like, if you have a Lexus or a Toyota, you want 60.1 uh, millimeters. Okay. And, uh, it was something like 70 with those things on, so we had to take them off. But once we had them off, um, you just pop it off with like a screwdriver, and they uh, they fit perfectly. So my wheels will not fall off, and this is slightly less unsafe than it would be uh, exactly if, if we didn't have perfect fit. And for this type of car, he actually gets a bit more stabilization because he has a before because he has stock suspension. So that means like when it's wider, when you're turning, going in the corners and shit, it's going to be a little bit more. Yeah, rigid. Wider track. Yeah, wider tracking. Yeah, it looks nice though. Get a shot here. Hope this isn't too white for the uh, camera. Don't know how to change exposure on the camera yet. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know. Get, let's get. Let's hear an outro. Hey, yeah. make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get a, a notification whenever he posts a video. Yeah, and also follow the new Instagram. I'll post it right here, and it's going to be in the link down below. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.